I'm in my storytelling chair again and today I'm going to tell you about Paradox. Really Louise Willem should be here with me to tell this story but she isn't so I'm going to do it anyway. One day we'll make a film together I am sure. Here's a little bottle of Paradox so named because it's a perfume for someone who had lost her sense of smell. And we made Paradox uh, eventually, just for Louise at the beginning, just for Louise because she lost her sense of smell and it was coming back incorrectly and her life was really horrible. Um, it turned out when she came round the studio that uh, vanillin and vanilla were the things that smelled worse. So you can imagine, you know, there's cake everywhere. Most perfumes have a bit of vanillin in, so every time she smelt them it made her feel ill. It was a horrible situation. And uh, Louise went off to the Osmotech just to see what she could identify and found out that she could smell the ionones, the violets and iris smells, musks and citrus fruits. As her sense of smell came back, she could smell those reasonably accurately. So she tweeted sort of ironically, ha, all I need now is a perfume that smells of violets, citrus fruit and musks. So of course I come back and go, well, I'll make you one. And so she came round to our studio. Stick it there. Okay, looks huge. She came round to the studio and we sat down and we sniffed a few things and we made it. So to cut the long story short, no, I'll cut the short story long. Um, it had to be something that she could smell because Louise reviews perfumes and makeup. Uh, she's the Get Lippy blog. So it had to be something which smelled good to her and she really wanted it to smell good to her husband as well, Mr. Lippy. Um, because uh, bear in mind that things that smell lovely to other people smell terrible to Eloise. There was the risk that something that smelled great to her might smell awful to the rest of the world and she didn't want to, you know, uh, make people think that she'd forgotten to wash for a month or, you know, have them run across the street to avoid her. That would be wrong. So anyway, I, I have the kit, so uh, off we went. Um, it ended up, get lippy, smelling of, here we go. Um, we, made, we made three accords. We made one that we ended up calling Vimto. I mean, it has uh, uh, the ionones, alpha ionone, beta ionone, methyl ionone, uh, gamma in it. And together these smell like violets, irises, ones... Some are more woody, some are more sweet. So uh, we assembled that um, and added the musk tracerlide to that collection. So that was our Vimto Accord. We then went for a kind of Yuzu Accord. Um, using some naturals and some synthetics, we used um, a Yuzu aldehyde, a Methyl Pomplemousse, which is this marvellous synthetic that makes grapefruit smells go on longer because grapefruits will flit away if you're not careful. Um, First version, we used some Cedrat essential oil, but in fact I switched eventually to yellow mandarin. And Litsia cubaba, which smells like a citrus fruit, but isn't. It's a shrub. Uh, and then we had uh, a, a final accord, which was kind of orange flower accord on top. Um, it's, uh, well, <sighs> it's a complicated one. So Undecavertal, that smells really kind of rooty and irisy, quite oris-like. Um, petit grain, which is made from the leftovers of oranges, so you've got the pips and the leaves and some twigs in there, so it's half woody, half orangey, just what we needed. And uh, uh, an orange flower synthetic, um, used to take the sparkle on the top, this lovely ethereal orange flower note. And we put it all together. Louise loved it. Uh, I love it. Lots of people love it. I mean, it was really just for her, but so we tried it out on a few people and, you know, they like it too. It's a perfume. So, originally when I found out about Louise losing her sense of smell, I put her straight in touch with Duncan Boak, who runs Fifth Sense, which is the organisation for people who have lost their sense of smell and or their sense of taste. I have in the past lost my sense of taste through sheer carelessness. I ate raw rhubarb too much of it, and it basically burnt, it acided off, that's not a verb, 
uh, the acid in the rhubarb took off or numbed my sense of taste and it went for about a fortnight, three weeks and, you know, it, it was very difficult. We're, we're about to set off to Paris and I was just thinking, what is the point if you can't taste what you're eating? What's the point of going to Paris and spending money on food and... Uh, you know, my life looked like it was changing, and uh, AD from Fifth Sense was very, very supportive. Gradually, bit by bit, I was very fortunate. Mine started to come back, but my goodness, you do appreciate how much your sense of taste and your sense of smell mean to you when you've lost it. And when you get it back, who you know, you're very happy. So... In that situation, they, they were really helpful to me. I put them in touch with Louise. Uh, Louise's story's been in The Guardian. Um, that's, that's a newspaper, foreign people. Uh, and so we decided what would be really lovely was to make this perfume, which eventually we ended up calling Paradox, because it's a perfume for someone who didn't, at the time, have a correct sense of smell. And every bottle that we sell, we're giving... Uh, the, the profits from it over to, there's not all the money because I can't afford that yet, too small, too poor, but uh, we're taking the slice of the profits and off it goes straight into the coffers of Fifth Sense to help them to build the organisation to be able to help more people who are in this situation. Um, it's one of those things you lose it and you get people saying, well it's not like losing a leg, it's not like losing your sight, but then no one knows it's gone, so they kind of, they still say, oh, smell this, oh, taste this. And people are going, yeah, right. Uh, and you kind of, you're in, you're in a, a different situation where you occupy the same space as your friends, but they don't feel what you do. Um, so it's a strange place to be. It's not the end of the world, but it's a very strange place to be, and it can cause depression. Um, very easily, it depends how you, how you approach this. But it's not a nice place to be. So, if we can help Fifth Sense, help Duncan and AD uh, build their organisation, then we'd like to do that. Plus, it smells all right. You know? we're, we're just a bit ahead of the trend here. We made a violent, a violent, a violet iris perfume, woody perfume, a little bit of citrus, just before everybody else did. So, um, it's on my website. It's called Paradox. If you'd like some please visit. Um, that's all for now. Thank you.